jana lakini unajua alikuwa anajua kwanza mimi ni street fighter <laughs> ili muangalia mara mbili hivi nikamuuliza ulikuwa unakaje baba nua kitu bana nipe hapo finje bana amuuliza ulikuwa unatakaje ah mzee sina unajua mimi sina noma si unajua tu unanijua bana nikamwambia huyu i saw main people the, the friends tulikuwa na wao wameniangalia wanaeleza nikamwambia ah these are my comrades man they don't know that status have changed they only know the village boy akaniangalia hivi akarudi nyuma jamaa kani nikasikia ndani ya moyo wangu akaniambia huyu si murogi wewe chukua tu hata sombiri umpatie because kuna watu hata kama ataanguka chini hata 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 tembo simpi nikamwambia niaje nika nika, nika I reach for 200 bob nikamwambia ah waenda kuna acha na unajua mimi ni mkubwa siku hizi usi oh sasa nimekuona bana pole bana najua mkinuliwa mnatukumbuka hapa bana problem ni watu even the people you preach to bana Yesu asame hata Yesu Biblia inasema kwamba alitumwa kwa wake he came for his own but his own did what i say his own did what rejected him and that's why mungu alisema toka fahamu ndio unasikia watu wanasikia kila saa wakisikia mtu fulani wao amekuwa mkubwa wanafungaga safari kwenda kumuona kwa nini lakini ukiwa mkubwa katikati kwenu inakuwa ngumu watu kukuelewa sometimes you look for a ground that you are not known and that's why i believe everybody who came to nakuru alijileta hata wale ambao wamezaliwa nakuru kwa hii hema lazima mungu aliye juu mbinguni atuinue saidi sana ili tukirudi makwetu watu watajua kwamba mahali tuliko kwenda tulienda na mungu na tumerudi na utofauti na kwambie unge set up low farm pale kwenu kiumbo basi Unaamka asubuhi unataka kule kwa nyumba ya kwenu unateremka unaingia niko hapa kila zana unakuliza na wewe unaenda mpaka wanarudia madharau wewe hata unataka kotini kukoni watu ndio unakuja hapa hivi yani watu from where you come from it is very hard for them to respect what god has put in your life and that's why ukionaka mtu yote anakuongeleshaka na madharau madharau ana kuongeleshaga ofyo ofyo saa ingine wacha kumpata mkono mwangalieni Biblia inasema Yesu akaambia Herode akamwambia muambie yule mbwea amezoeaga madharau siku ile nilikuwa nasaliwa alisema watoto wote wa Kiebrania wawawi siku zote hajawahi nipetia amani na Herode aliposikia Yesu ameanza kufanya miujiza ameendelea sana alianza madharau Aliuliza ni nani huyo mkuu sana kuniriko nani huyo enda mumwambie aondoke hapo Biblia inasema Yesu akaenda akaambiwa Yesu akageukia akawaambia hata he never addressed him as a king aliyemwambia mwenye amewatuma enda mumwambie huyo mbwea nini I say huyo nini I say there are people you can abuse without apology I say there are people you can abuse them without what? Yesu akasema mwambie huyo mbwea nitakuwa hapa leo na nini? I say nitakuwa hapa leo na nini? Na kesho. The spirit of familiarity, mama Lilian. Sasa hii Mungu anawatatia na hewa. Hata kama mnauza mboga kuna wamama hawawaelewi mlipitia wapi? Maana yule Mungu aliyewatoa kwenu akawaleta mpaka hapa hamkunujua na akajua ya kwamba katika muda fulani atatafuta nafasi ya kuwaheshimu kwa uzee wenu. Mzeke kwa neema. Watu wanachuaga kuna watu wamezoea. Mungu akamwambia Abraham get out of your people out of what? And number two, out of your father's household. The address says out of your family, get out of it. And he said, go to the place that I will show you. In that place I have sworn a covenant. A very what? A covenant. And this covenant in that place, number one, I will make your name great. Amen. 
in Bethlehem walikuwa naulizaga tu wanaulizaga na ule mtoto wa Joseph the carpenter that mere carpenter Jesus had to go out he had to go what alipoenda inji kama zakari akaenda mbali alipoenda Bethsaida Biblia inasema kwamba mujiza zilikuwa zinatendeka zilikuwa zina nini there are people who are coin jina do you see let me give this testimony and that is i'm not arrogant i'm only just like that i'm real i'm real one of my friends is a pastor he addressed me in another way when i was singing at juangi when i lose call akaniuliza sisi nini alikuwa ananiuliza kuki kiki ujinga ujinga kimadharau na dharau ile mwangalia hivi there another pastor was there nikamwambia Ejina hey, Lawrence nikamwambia eh hey, you cannot define my life I am only one who can define I answered I was remembering later nikakuja kuambia bibi yangu ambia unajua friend yako vile nimemjibu nimesikia vizuri sana na yeye naona amekashirika sana Akaniambia nikamwambia chronology of the whole story akaniambia baba na unge mwambie hivyo sana na una kwa una lose school naambia no nikiendelea hivyo nitampatia space ataendelea kuchimba kama panya unajua ile inaitwa nini ile morat fuku inaitwa fuku itachimba 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 unajua inachimba ikitoka mchanga sio unajua hivyo sasa atakuchimba chimba na mwisho atakuwekelea hapa even when you preach there's no respect one day My bishop Joyce we respect each other so much so much tumeshimiana sana ni mama mkubwa sana miaka zake zinatosha unaongea siku moja shule alikuwa amengea nini ili mjibu mara tatu akaniambia najua waksi wanakuwa akaniambia eh hey! wacha kwanza waksi niambia i am only giving you my mind so that next time you know the boundary I say you must make a boundary between you and your enemies. Praise the Lord. Mungu akamwambia Daudi, I have settled you and I have already defeated your enemies. Amen. Kuna watu hivi nazi they will never respect you. Kuna watu walijua kwamba you are barren, you will die barren, you will never have a child. Sasa they have a divination. Hata wale mulizaliwa nao, hata majirani wa mama yako, hata majirani wa kwako. Sasa unakuta kwamba mtu anakuadress nikana kwamba jaishi kanini and it is not that msikia faith kuna kipindi ukionaka mtu anakujaga unajua mtu anakujaga kama anakufukuza kama afkado kama afkado unajua vile afkado ona kama imeiva afadhali uchitetee mape ai afadhali ufanye there are people who thinks i am very arrogant i am very hard but the people who have come close like this brother no spaza is a very soft character the only difference is that don't cross what unless you are my spiritual mentor i can allow you to access my black territories yellow territories if you are my senior but if you are not you are not permitted somebody said amen i said somebody said amen i said somebody said i said somebody said what Mama Lian, usikubali mtu afuke sana. Tairo kumesimama na wakubwa kabisa kabisa na umekaa na watu wote wanakuheshimu. Mtu anaanza kumwambia, "Eh, hey, wewe mama mboga. Wewe mama mboga." Unamwambia nonsense. Dimo. I'm an official. Yaani mtu ataku atakubandikia mpaka akuje mama nini? Mwa wewe alama ti wewe waiter wewe waiter mimi ningefanyaga hoteli ningevutwa asubuhi na naandikwa saa moja na futwa saa tatu. kwanza zile watu wamejaa wewe waiter muuliza unaita nani waiter eh muuliza manager ama very important man between this this and this there's nikiweka sumu ndani utaishi tena unaweza ishi mtu ana unajua hata mtu sikubali mtu akuite maid akuite nurse kuanzia leo ma maid wote kwa hii kanisa hata kama unafanya kazi ya maid wewe ni nurse sio maid hata america wanaitwa nini i say wanaitwa nini 
hapa Kenya maskini ndio wanapenda hawem we maid we maid hapa kwa hii kanisa hatuna maid tuko na nurses nasema hapa tunaenda kiwango kingine katika jina la Yesu hata wewe ukiwa na mama ni housewife unaamka asubuhi unaekelea kibeti hapo natoka unaweka inaitwaje ninja ile unakaa kininja unaweka hii pencil lower pencil unatokea unasimama hivi anasema leo leo kai kwa nyumba na muuliza uwe sana kaa kwa nyumba piga round town ya nakuru town upige mpaka kona na urudi tu hivi ufike nyumbani saa saba na karibu na robo useme nao mimi nilikuwa na eh, half day kwani ni nini na zingine pika lunch ushibe utokee useme niko nusu day na unarudi jioni osha viombo zako na mapema sema i must move ai sema i must move Ukikubali watu wa kudivine, ukikubali watu wa kuwekea mipaka, I say you never cross. I say you never cross. Na nawatabiria katika jina la Yesu kila mmoja aliye katika nyumba hii. Bwana atawainua zaidi kuliko mahali mmeinuka. Nasema Bwana atawainua zaidi mahali mmeinuka. Bwana atawapeleka nchi za mbali. Nataka watu mtoke hapa muende China. Kama dia unajua China, kama unaisomaga. Unaonaje? You hope and believe. Sema I hope and believe. Thank you. Mama Lilian, mama Nataka niwaone mmeendesha gari. Mmevaa gogos. Unajua Kenya, Kenya itakuwa na senior citizen len na inaitwaje sema brother. Mahali wa mama wazee kama Maria ni wanaendesha gari 20 by 6 speed ya 20 20 30 kilometers per hour. Mahali wale kama kina deno wanaendesha 100 and 80 wanasema god i'm ready to come home hawa senior citizen wao washafika wako nyumbani wanaenda kufanya mazoezi pole po hiyo hiyo waamini mama mama susa ni sisi tumeongea hapa miaka nyingi miaka tatu na nusu tunaendelea kuongea tu tunaongea tu tunaongea tu tunaongea tu kila siku tunaongea tu si ndio mwisho na nani kuna kitu kimetengewa watu vitu vyote vimetengewa wana wa Mungu. Maaniko inasema Mungu akamwambia Daudi nimeweka agano mimi pamoja na wewe na uzao wako. Mimi na nini? Aisha mimi na nini? Yaani unaambia Mungu ya kwamba if God you are raising me you raise me together with my children. Amen. Na ndio nimewaambia kwamba you are the generation I want to make different from the rest of people where you come from. Mungu akamwambia Abraham, I will make your name great and it will be a blessing to the nations. Amen. You will be what? I say you will be what? I say you shall be what? A blessing. Yaani hii maisha ya tabu tabu. Ukipata faida kunywa chai kwa 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 duka au sivi kwa 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 hoteli, anageuza sura kwa sababu alikuwa na 25 amelipa mapema na zao umeingia kama sister katika Yesu. Bwana asifiwe. Hata ukiona mtu anakusalimia bye 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 asiwe kabisa. Ni shida. Ni pesa ana ya kutosha. Pesa akisema tutoe pesa kila mtu anakaa. Unajua watu wakati hawana pesa wanakuwa wana change sura wanakuwa sura mbaya mbaya. Wengine hata wanaepa kanisa muda ya kutosha. Lakini sasa zile wako na pesa unaona wanatembea mdogo mdogo. Say what you want. We will deal with it. Maandiko yanasema Mungu akamwambia Abraham when you get out you shall be a blessing. You shall what? I say you shall be what? Unaingia kijijini nyumbani when you come back home. Unaingia tu kila mtu anasikia. Yaani when you arrive home uh, Florence kila mtu anajua kuna mtu ameingia. Mtoto wa Anania ameingia. Sukari iko. Unajua zamani watu jamani walikuwa naomba naka sukari, unga, mboga. Mimi nimewahi enda siku moja nasema hii kweli now my mom she is dead nikaona mama hayuko niliona wale waliingia butchery wakanunua nyama wakaenda kwao na wako karibu na sisi na siku mama alikuwa ameenda kwao tumebaki peke yetu my brother wamepika ugali lakini kile boy wamepika nayo ni sukuma yenye nakuliwa kila saa mama akikweko ndio tunaweza kula hizo manawu ama marawe na sukuma na kumbe unajua kuna sedelisha simili huko kwetu ilikuwa ilitoka marawe ikiwekwa na 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 na, na, na sukuma kidogo eh hiyo ni ya matajiri nikafuata polepole nikasema hii jamii zinakuwa na generosity nikaenda polepole nikaenda na bakuri unakuwa naenda bakuri zimeshikana unarudi zimefunganishwa nikaenda mama ameniambia 
mtusaidie mboga tulikuwa sikundi hiyo maisha eh huyo mama kaa mzuri okay mama kwa mbana kumshuna mama wangu ayuko all right akaenda polepole akaniwekea mboga ambao ni sukuma nimeacha kufika njiani lazima niangalie ushahidi mimi sijai tu bila kuangalia ushahidi kufika nafunua hivi napata tena sukuma nyingine nilimwaga kwa fence ikasema shetani hii niliona nyama imeenda hapa si wangenipa hiyo ndio nilikuja si mpaka nikasema Mungu kama kuna kuna mboga sinaweza niua nyama isiniue jaova kila siku nyama chooza nyama isiniue baba vitu vingine naomba tu hata nyama isijaribu Nimeenda kuomba nyama wananipatia tena vitu lenye iko kwetu. My brother wanauliza kwani ulikuwa umeenda wapi? Nimeenda nilikuwa hapa nyuma tu. Narudi na wakujua na wakujua kama nilikuwa nimeenda kwa. Kutoka siku hiyo nikajua kuomba ni mbaya na utapewa ile kitu yenye ambayo umeomba ukemba kwa mtu. Kabisa. Sasa mama hoja asubuhi anapita. Na nani huyu alikuwa anamwaga mboga hapa ni uchawi. Unajua sasa kwetu uchawi it was prevalent. Kwanza unalala kitu yote kifanyika mboga zimemwaga kwa barabara, ugali, huyu mtu alikuwa aje. Sasa hiyo si semi na wala si ngoti. Mimi ndio mwenyewe nilifanya hiyo vitu walinitendea madhambi ya kunipa vitu yenye staki. Tasi wao wakati ulikuwa kwetu unapangwa butcher ya kwenda kununua matumbo. Tasi ndio ilikuwa siku ya soko naenda kupanga matumbo ilikuwa inakujanga once a week. Sasa muende butcher mpange. Mimi nilikuwa mwaminifu siku hiyo nitapanga laini kutoka. Mnapanga matumbo mnaandika majina, unapanga laini kutoka saa moja. mnaanza kupewa matumbo kwanza wakati mwenye. Anaitoka ule wa kucheki nyama amekucha ndio mnaanza kupewa saa nane. Mmesimama kwa bidii. Honest, that's one unaka na kwa rafiti. Ha? Eh? ya matumbo. Ah matumbo na matumbo hadha anaiona lazima unashukuru bwana. Anasema matumbo si nyama, ni mboga. Napanga rindi si ni soko. Mama ako sokoni auze vitu vingine mimi niko huko naambia mami, nilikuwa napenda mamangu tunakaa na hivi naambia mimi ndio nakaa chuma. Mami, mimi nitakuwa mwaminifu nitakaa kwa laini. Mimi si kwa hiyo na watu wanapigia matumbo laini. Maana ndio ilikuwa rais kwa afford. Nyama ilikuwa ni ya watu maarufu. Ma, Sema sio mimi. Sema tu kibandia sema sio mimi. Sema sio mimi. And I want to tell you my friends when you are moving out. Leo kila mtu nataka kumwombea hapa neema ya kutoka. Sema neema ya kutoka. Sema neema ya kutoka. Sema neema ya kutoka. Simama kwa miguu yako tu jamani. Hii maneno tutamaliza. Tutaendelea tu simama kwa miguu yako i want you to come where i am here nataka tuwe na neema ya kutoka neema ya kutoka na tumwambie mungu we are moving out wale mko na passport zenu nataka mushike kwa mkono hivi wale mko na form zile za passport shika hivi 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 nataka tuamue mungu tumwambie bwana this is the beginning nipatie hiyo mafuta tu ya mungu nataka niwaambie wote ambao mko hapa katika jina la yesu kristo Baba tunakushukuru. Simama 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 haraka haraka kujeni hapa mbele. Hiyo ndio kondo yako mwambie bana unanitoa. Mimi nitakuwa baraka, nitakuwa e, taifa kubwa, nitakuwa baba wa baraka kubariki watu. Sitakuwa maskini, sitakuwa mwenye shida katika jina la Yesu. Ninataka niachilie neema ya Bwana katika maisha yako. Niachilie Bwana. Wale mko na passport zenu nipatie hapa. Nipatie, 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 nipatie. Nipatie hizo passport nipatie hapa hivi katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Baba asante. Baba hivyo ndivyo tunavyoanza safari zetu za ondoka katika umaskini kama ulitutoa huko kwetu na fair leo tunajua tutatoa Kenya na passport katika jina la Yesu inua mikono zako tu inua tu mwambie bwana ninajua ya kwamba ulinileta na kuru kama Mungu alikuleta na kuru akakubariki na kuru huyo ndiye Mungu atakayekusaidia akuondoe kupeleka katika mataifa ya nje kuna watu wanaenda Marekani kuna watu wanaenda UK kuna watu wanaenda mbali kuna watu wanaenda katika nchi za mbali katika jina la Yesu Kristo baba ninakushukuru ninajua ya kwamba kuna watu tunaenda kupatia biashara watu ambaye babu unaenda kupatia biashara <laughs> unawapeleka katika nchi ya Dubai unawapeleka China unawapeleka nchi za Japan unawafanya baba business magnet katika ti yetu bwana kuna mamilionea unainua kuna mabilionese unainua kuna watu unaweka pesa kwa mikono yao katika jina la Yesu Kristo ninawaombea kibali 
Naombea neema, ninaombea baraka, ninaombea ushindi wako bwana. Kila mahali watakapokanyaga katika nchi hii bwana, ninawaongoa katika mahali pale wamepandwa na wangoa, na wangoa katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Ninangoa maisha yao, ninangoa nafsi zao mahali pale wamekwama na wamestagnate katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Wale wanaofanya biashara, wale pia wameandikwa makazi. Baba ninawaongoa ninaachilia neema yako katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Baba ninaachilia baraka yako ninaachilia kibali chako baba ninaachilia neema yako ninaachilia ukuu wako baba ninaachilia baraka yako ya kwamba katika hiyo nchi bwana utawapeleka katika nchi ambayo masia wewe mwenyewe ndio unayejua katika jina la Yesu Kristo baba ambao utakayowabariki kama Abraham katika jina la Yesu Kristo baba ninaachilia kibali chako baba ninaachilia neema yako baba ninaachilia ukuu wako katika jina la Yesu Kristo baba ninajua ya kwamba we are business women business men international businessmen oh god i pray that there are women god you are raising to another level in the mighty name of jesus christ baba ninaachilia kibali chako ninaachilia neema yako ninaachilia baraka yako baba unde na watoto wetu wote walio na watoto watawapeleka ngambo watawapeleka nje za mbali katika jina la yesu kristo baba ninajua ya kwamba kuna wale umewainua kuna wale umewabariki kuna wale umewanemesha kuna wale baba umewatangazia baraka kuna wale umewatangazia baraka kuna wale umewatangazia baraka kuna wale umewatangazia baraka kuna wale umewatangazia neema yako katika jina la Yesu Kristo baba ninaachilia kibali chako ninaachilia neema yako ninaachilia ukuu wako ninaachilia baraka yako katika jina la Yesu Kristo baba inawavukisha maboda i father they cross every border they shall cross a border beyond this nation they shall go beyond the borders of this nation in the mighty name of jesus christ in the mighty name of jesus christ in the mighty name of jesus christ baba ninajua ya kwamba masia utaachilia watoto wako hawa utawavukisha boda baba vipawa vyao vitawapeleka mataifa ya mbali wataenda katika nchi za mbali wataenda katika mahali pale wajawahi fika katika china la yesu Kristo I prophesy I prophesy I prophesy Ino yo me kono na I prophesy I prophesy I prophesy I prophesy I prophesy I prophesy Every spirit of stagnation Every spirit of stagnation I prophesy I prophesy I prophesy I prophesy As a prophet of God I prophesy today As a prophet of God Call this traveling document baba nina sinu ambere zako this traveling document baba nina sinu ambere zako ninatangazia watoto wako ninawatangazia masia ninawatangazia baba ninatangaza neema ninatangaza kibali ninatangaza baraka ninatangaza ushindi ninatangaza mali wanavyokwenda baba watangulie waongoze wape neema kubwa wape kibali kubwa wasaidie masia wasaidie baba wasaidie baba Wasaidi wando ya imu Wasaidi wando ya imu Katika jira la Yesu Kristo Thank you Jesus God I prophesy for these children I prophesy for their life Baba ni na prophesy I prophesy I prophesy I prophesy I prophesy I prophesy I prophesy God I prophesy opportunities beyond the borders opportunity beyond the borders of Kenya opportunities beyond the nation opportunity beyond Kenya God I pray even those who want to get married I pray God the opportunity beyond the land of Kenya in the name of Jesus Sema bwana Yesu. Sema ukimaanisha kwa moyo wako. Sema bwana Yesu. Niko mbele zako. Ninakuomba bwana. Utaniinua. Sema utaniinua. Uniondoe katika nchi hii. Unipatie opportunity iliyo zaidi. Mahali niko. Sema utanipatia opportunity. Mahali niko. Mahali pale nako kwenda. Baba utaenda pamoja nami. Sema utaenda pamoja nami. Mimi na watoto wangu, mimi na jamii yangu. Kisasi changu. Sema kisasi changu. Sema my generation 
shall make a change shall make a change Sema shall make a change it will make a change I want to prophesy to you by covenant that your generation God will raise them above I say your generation God will raise them above may God give you the ability to break beyond their borders let me tell you Abraham Mama Mshoni alipoenda Egypt hata kama aliingia na uongo alivuka boda alikwenda na kutafuta chakula alipokuwa anakwenda kutafuta chakula akaenda kule mpaka karibu na nyanganyo muke unajua ukiwa maskini ni rais kunyanganywa bibi mzuri alafu bwana mzuri yule akona pesa achukue lakini muandiko unasema Mungu akampatia ngombe ngamia wafanyikazi na watumishi alipotoka Egypt the man was loaded I said the man was loaded I said the man was loaded na mimi nataka kuomba katika jina la Yesu. Wale mnaenda katika ingi za ngambo na za mbali. Na wale mliokuja katika mji wa Nakuru kufanya biashara. Ninaomba Mungu aliye juu hai, kwa ndio ambao watu katika mji huu wa Nakuru, Mungu atawapatia kibali juu yenu. Nasema Mungu atawapatia kibali juu yenu. Nasema Mungu atawapatia kibali juu yenu. Nasema Mungu atawapatia kibali juu yenu na mtapata baraka. Ndio mgono wa right wale hamna passport. Baba tunainua mkono kwa kiapo tu Bwana Mungu ya kwamba utatuinua zaidi bale tumesimama <coughs> Wengi tulikuja hapa nakuru tulikuja na tikiti tu ya fare lakini baba tunahitaji vyetu hivi kwenda nje ya nchi hii Baba mkono huu wa kume ulinuliwa ni ishara moja ya kwamba baba ni passport imeshikwa Ninabaumbea zaidi ya kule mali wapo na baombe baba neema zaidi ya mipaka ya Kenya. Naomba baba business women international in this church. Naombea mabilionaires katika kanisa hili. Naombea mamilioners katika kanisa hili. Naombea wadada ambao wataolewa nje ya nchi hii bwana. Watapata wapendwa ambao walio watakatifu nje ya nchi hii. Wandugu wataenda kufanya kazi nje ya nchi hii. Baba utawainua zaidi ya nchi hii. Baba utawainua na utawafanya baraka. Baba na kuomba leo Mungu naisikia maombi. Iwe baba ndio dalili na ishara ya milele. Pokea utukufu, pokea heshima. Na neema katika jina la Yesu Kristo ni mambo na kuamini mtu wa Mungu aseme amen. Amen. Nasema mtu